Hi everyone, Kamusta? For today's video, we are going to play with this makeup that I got from Spirit Halloween. Excuse me, my hair is still wet. And I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. I'm using their eyeliner, swatching it at the back of my hand, and it looks promising. So we're gonna put this in my brows. I want to achieve a jet black looking brows and as you can see it is a little bit messy that's why i needed a makeup remover and take all those excess products and voila it's still not as black as i want it to be so i needed a help from jelly liner this is from maybelline eye studio i'm just doing a double coat here especially at the tail of my brows shaping it and as usual same as you're doing your brows just using a different product that's so much better that's the one i'm looking for and i'm just gonna do my other brows i'll be right back my brows is done now it's time to do our face i'm using this white face paint i'm just putting this in my mixing palette with the sponge putting this all over my face i'm not sure if you can notice it but it's not really staying in place it's moving a lot I'm trying my best to blend it really well, like blend it seamlessly, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm putting this on my neck first because I'm waiting for my face to dry. Maybe when it's dry, it's okay. It will not move a lot. <laughs> and yeah, you can see there's a lot of patches. That's why I tried using brush here. Maybe the sponge is not working. So I needed to change my tools and use a brush instead of sponge. Putting a double coat because I really want to achieve a white face. And yes, you can see in my face here, it's not really working. If you have a white base, guys, it's better. So you can really see the black spider when you start painting it. And yeah, I'm just taking all this white stuff on my face and doing it all over again. Alright, let's do a foundation instead of face paint and I'm using this wet and wild putting this all over my face. I'm just gonna do a regular makeup base. So, of course, the concealer under my eyes, underneath my eyes, just blending it and putting a lot of face powder because we are going to do our eyeshadow. I'm using this NYX for eyeshadow base. I will be using this palette from Urban Decay. This is their Born to Run palette. Taking this brown shade as my transition shade. And taking this black shade to put all over our eyelids. I'm just retouching my eyebrows here because as you can see there is a bald spot and now it's time to do our spider legs you can really do whatever you want just like mine the lower legs are much longer than the upper legs it really depends on your creativity
I'm using this NYX eyeliner and putting this all over our spider legs just to look like it's a real spider. This is also important guys, the same as that white eyeliner earlier because this will look like the shadow of our spider so having this liner is a must have I can say if you want to achieve this 3D looking spider. If you are already contented with your spider, you can actually skip this process. I'm just curling my lashes, doing a regular makeup routine like lashes and falsies and mascaras and then doing a retouch after, blush-ons and then contour actually. There you have it guys, what do you think? Leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye!